In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to create three of the most commonly used cards, using Illusion's delivered templates. We will specifically look at the HTML template, image template, and quick links template. Additional information for the remaining available templates can be found within the documentation provided in the Experience channel. Card templates offer a quick and easy way for administrators to create role-based content that is relevant to end users. To access card templates, users must possess administrative access to the card management section of the dashboard. Open card management from the configuration page in the main menu. Click configuration. From card management, click the add card button to access the card templates. Available card templates include, embedded URL, freeform, HTML, image, quick links, RSS feed, and student lookup. In this lesson we will specifically be covering the HTML, image, and quick links templates. Let's create our first card using the HTML template. Select the HTML template image and click next to begin the card creation steps. The HTML template allows card creators to develop content based on provided HTML code. This card is useful for developing content that requires specific formatting or code requirements. For this example, we will create a card that displays a map, indicating dining locations on and around campus. We will first enter a card title. Next, a card description detailing the purpose or function of the card. Then, card tags to make the function of the card searchable. The external link is optional, and provides users a clickable link that displays in the footer of the card. For this example, we will leave it blank. We will click the toggle switch, to set the card as a default on the home page. Click next to advance to the configure page. The configure page of the HTML template is where the card creator will enter the HTML code for this card. For this example, we have already created our code using an HTML generated from Google Maps. In the Content Options section, select Permitted Features for the content. Scroll to the end of the form to see all options. For this example, we will select all content options. The Allow Forms option allows users to complete and submit forms from within the card. Allow modals gives the card permission to display modal windows, such as dialog boxes, on top of the web page. Allow pop-ups grants permission to display pop-up windows on top of the web page. Allow scripts allows the website to execute scripts from within the card. Allow pop-ups to escape sandbox gives the card permission to open new windows outside the sandbox. For example, you can use this to allow a hyperlink to open a PDF. Allow Downloads grants users permission to initiate downloads. Click Next to continue. Next, you will select the user access roles. For this example, we will select all users. Click Next to continue. On the preview page, you will see the content options again, allowing the creator to witness card behavior changes in real time. If the HTML content is not rendering as expected, click the back button and modify the code. Once all configuration is complete, click finish and view the newly created card within the card management section. We will now return to our template selections by clicking Add Card. The image template allows card creators to develop content based on the provided image. This card is useful for developing content that includes a visual announcement, such as an upcoming commencement or to guide users from experience to another application. Select the image template. 
Click Next to continue. For this example, we will create a card that displays a visual for the campus radio station and provides them with a link to listen. First, enter a card title. Next, enter the card description. Then, we will enter the searchable card tags. For this example, we will enter the optional external link, first with the external link label. This will provide a link in the footer to access the radio station's live stream. Next, enter the external link URL. We will click the toggle switch to set the card as a default on the home page. Click Next to continue. The configure page of the image template is where the card creator will upload the image they wish to appear within the card. We may also enter a website address into the image link URL field to make the image a clickable hyperlink. Alternative text may also be added for accessibility. For this example, we are only going to add the image. Select the desired image, and click Open. Review the image and click Next. Here you will specify the user access roles. For this example, we will select all users and click Next to continue. Preview the card within the final step of the card template wizard. Once complete, click Finish and view the newly created card within the Card Management section. Now that the image card has been verified in the Card Management area, we will return once more to the Template Selections to review our third and final template, by clicking Add Card. Scroll through the templates and select Quick Links. Click Next to continue. The Quick Links template allows card creators to develop cards that display a group of important links to users. This card is useful when developing content that includes several related web pages or documents, such as registration steps or financial aid information. For this example, we will create a card that displays a list of self service registration links by first entering the card title. Next, enter the card description. Then, enter the card tags for searchable keywords. For this example, we will leave the external link label and external link URL empty. We will click the toggle switch to set the card as a default on the home page. Click Next to continue. Here, the card creator will add the name and URL for each link they wish to display. A link must be enabled for it to appear within the card. Our first link will be for the summer 2021 registration.
To create more links, click the Add Link icon. We will create a second link for the Fall 2021 registration. If you want to change the order in which the links appear in the card, click the More button at the end of the row and select Move Up or Move Down. Click Next to continue. Here, you will specify the user access roles. For this example, we will select all users. Then, click Next. Preview the card within the final step of the card template wizard. Once complete, click Finish and view the newly created card within the card management section. You have just learned how to set up cards using the HTML, image, and quick links templates. Please refer to the additional documentation provided within the Illusion Experience channel for steps on completing additional card templates.